what's up you guys it's your girl um i gotta say this first that i know i've been missing mia for like over a month and i have some explaining to do to you guys like where i've been and why i haven't been around nobody's talking to you but um what yeah i've been missing this is the fourth time for me to make this video Um, the fourth time doesn't seem like it's going to be any easier. Um, you know, four times is be a long, a lot of times to just do a video that you really don't want to edit and you just want to explain yourself or where you've been or why you've been missing. Um, that's a lot of times. Uh, the first time I think I was just like a little bit too emotional. The second time. The camera wasn't too steady. I don't think it's a really good idea to go for walks. The third time I did try that again, but that time the camera was steady, but I just didn't like how I looked early in the morning. And so here's the fourth time. Try number four. Um, I have been gone for a month from YouTube and I just, you know, I love YouTube, but I just felt like I had to just chill out. I had to step back. And I had to just like process a lot of things. This has been like a really tough year for me. Um, overall, it's been really overwhelming. And honestly, I never foreseen my future like this at all. You know, August was a hard month, a really, really hard month. June was a hard month for me too. June is my birthday month, but it's also my son Wuzzle's birthday month. We we're a week apart. He was June 12th. I'm June 19th. And August 4th is when he passed away. So he would have been 22 this year. And, you know, it's just been a lot, a lot. Um, For the past year, I have been fighting a battle of just grief. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had to leave YouTube this time for like a month because I used YouTube a lot of the times just to avoid a lot of things in my life and not even a lot of things, but I just used YouTube to avoid the pain and the hurt that I was feeling from missing my son and just from life issues that I've been going through. And, you know, it's easy sometimes. Sometimes it's easy to get on camera and smile. But then I had days where I just really, you know, was overwhelmed. And I just didn't want to do any videos, you know. And I'm not sure if you can tell in my presentation, but I know I felt it here. You know what I'm saying? And I just felt like it was best for me to just step back and just try to regain my thoughts, you know. Um it's hard to process losing somebody, like, especially if it's your kid, man. Like, I know I get on here and I'll be smiling and I'm happy, but you guys really don't, you know, you really don't understand what I've been going through. And sometimes I just have horrible days and sometimes I just have an okay day. But, you know, this year has been very overwhelming for me and it is taking a toll on me a lot. Um, I will say I am so thankful to God. Like, honestly, seriously, I am so thankful to God because I have put this in God's hands. And I said, you know what, God, I understand somewhat the trials and tribulations that we all may go through, but this one I'm going to just put in your hands because I really don't understand why me. So, you know, I did that and it allowed me to have a stronger faith and it allowed me to let go just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So you just got to have faith regardless of what your belief is. You just got to have faith. Um, Yesterday was like a really tough day for me. I just don't know why. I just feel like... You ever wake up and it just feels like a cloud of gloominess? It just was a really tough day. And I was trying to get through it. And I could not. But I still ended up, managed to do videos for wigs. 
Okay. All these these weeks that I've been missing, I have not recorded any wig videos. I just didn't even have it in me. I didn't have the passion for it. I didn't have the vibe. I just kind of was like over it. You know what I'm saying? Like really over it. I've been doing this for almost 13 years now on YouTube. My daughter will be is 13. And, you know, after a while it becomes very repetitive. And it just seems like, is it ever going to get any better? Is it ever going to change? It's like the same thing. And don't get me wrong. I love doing wig videos. I love doing wigs. I love wearing wigs. I love wearing hair extensions. I love wearing hair pieces. You know, even my own hair. Sometimes I like wearing it. But it's a time when you just have to step back and just chill and not even fuck with YouTube. Okay. So throughout the time that I've been gone for this over this month, I, you know, I was doing some things that I really enjoyed doing, which was crafting, doing crafts, DIYs. I love doing crafts. That's my thing. You know, a bitch can make some shit. All right. I can make some shit. And, you know, when I do the wig videos, I don't really have that much time that which will allow me to do crafts and DIYs and redecorate my home and things like that of home decor. I mean, I can make the time, but doing DIYs is a passion for me. I've been at this. I've been doing this since I've been like probably like eight, eight years old, thanks to my mom. And um, I, I do pretty damn good, I think. And it also has allowed me this past over, I, you know, I, I, I started doing my craft thing again way before I decided to take this break. But this break allowed me to open up my eyes and allow me to, you know, do more, make more. And I made a new channel for my crafts. And I've got like eight videos that I have to, you know, um, edit for crafts. And because I want to share them with you guys. Well, seven, because I already have one done. Um, to do, it's just a passion for me. And trust me when I tell you, it's a passion for me to do any type of video, but sometimes I just need to step back and do something that really allows me to be my creative self. You know what I mean? And maybe it will give me like an insight to where I want to be, what I want to do, why I'm even here. Um, but like I was saying, this past year has been very overwhelming for me. You know, I lost my son on August 4th of 2019. Um, that was like a very huge, traumatic life experience for me. And I miss him so much. You know, I have like this area in my house just dedicated to him. And sometimes I walk past it and it's hard for me because I feel like, who am I to be smiling? and happy he's not here and i have my moments where i feel like i lost everything because i lost him it was like my buddy you know he wasn't like he was my buddy we were so much alike and um it's just hard it's very hard and then you know i have five kids and i have a new grandson that will be here within the next few weeks grandson number four and I'm so proud of my oldest son my eldest son Jerome and his wife this will be their third baby together their third son and this one is going to be named Jalen after my wuzzle and I'm happy about that you know they moved up here in April and they stayed with me for a while but they probably live probably like five six seven minute drive for me now like about a seven minute drive for me they live um, in their own place, and I'm I'm happy for them. They have cars, they got jobs, you know. They got the baby that's about to be here, and I'm happy for them. You know, my house is quiet. My daughter Tati, she no longer lives here, and you know that's a whole different story in itself. But my grandson, her son Tinky, you know Tinky, he lives here. You know, I'm gonna just put it like this. You know, I have custody of my grandson, Tinky, as of July 28th, okay, of this year. And it's like this. If you want to be in the streets and, and do street shit, then I guess that's where you want to be. She needs to really, Tatiana needs to get her shit together. You know, she really needs to get her life together. 
in the utmost. I have been trying to help her, but I think when a person is stuck on their ways and what they want to do, that's what they're going to carry out. Um, I have been going through issues with her for many, 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 many years. Um, and I'm not really sure why, because you know how you say there's a black sheep in the family, you know, black sheep in the family could mean anything, I guess I want to put, I want to say that because it can be negative And then it can also mean good. Like, oh, she's the black sheep of the family, meaning she's the one who's on an honor roll. She's a super A student, you know, she's got merit certificates. It could be anything while the other people don't, or it could be opposite. Like, and like out of all five of my kids, she's the one that just would just give me so much problems in school and I just don't understand why. And I've tried so hard. And even as a grown up, what she is now 24 years old, very childish still, you know, for the past couple of years, I have been received screenshots, emails, messages, text messages from her social media platforms of her down, downing me, downgrading me, disrespecting me you know she's wrote she's written things like i'm evil i'm a bitch how could i have birthed her all kind of things i you know you would you can only imagine and i've taken it you know oh i didn't write that about you you know when i stepped to her no i didn't that wasn't about you girl please okay and then it started even more so this year where now you can't say that it's not about me if you're saying my mother you know I have gotten screenshots from people that follow me, also follow her. So it's like, okay, you are making a mockery and a fool out of yourself and trying to ridicule and make a mockery out of me. Like, not going to happen. You know, and so I tried to deal with it. Like, you know, like, let me be respectable and grown because I'm older than her. You know, I'm 46 years old. Let me teach her the right ways. Because if you want to be disrespectful, you want to be disrespectful outside on the other side of the door, not here in my home. You know, and I'm also trying to help you establish your own residence. So that way, my grandson have a residence. Ended up didn't working like that. You know, she's just became very lazy, very disturbed, very disgusting, filthy. And I don't carry on like that or carry myself or my home in that manner. Uh, you know, I, I just don't stand for a lot of things. Disrespect to me on social media, you will not do. And I know me, you know what I'm saying? I know the person that I am. And I feel like this, you know, you got one time to disrespect me then twice then the third time it's on me and it's like you know what girl let me just remove you from this part of my residence my home my life so on the first of june i did have her removed from my home because i unfortunately you just can't tell somebody to get the fuck out you got to either put a order of protection out on them or evict them so you know when i did have her removed you know the police had to come and remove her. I was all kind of bitches to my face. Now it's to my face. It's never been to my face. Always on social media. But since the police is here, you know, I'm a fucking bitch. I hope you die. You cunt. You whatever, whatever it was nasty. That is what came out of her mouth. And, you know, I'm like, okay, girl, you getting a little bit um lit right there with the popo. Okay. You know, it took the life out of me. But finally, I was like, you know what? <laughs> Just let her go for a minute. You know, just let her let her go. Let her let her go for a second. But it didn't happen like that, unfortunately. Um, maybe fortunate fortunately for her, it didn't, you know, because if they wouldn't have been standing in front of her, you know, or in front of her bedroom door where she was gathering her things from, you know, and let her go or stop blocking it and let me through, you know, you never know what might have happened. But you know, that was on the 1st of June. And then like the first week of July, you know, she texted my phone and asked me to take her son because she just couldn't care for him. And then it wasn't even that she couldn't care for him. It's because you wanted to be in the streets, you know? And she has some issues that she really needs to deal with. And I've tried to help her, but you know, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't make someone do something they don't want to do, you know? I can't help you and you not help yourself. So, you know, I have now custody of my grandson as of the 28th of July. And it's been very overwhelming, not the custody part, but just dealing with 
child protection services, that's very stressful and very overwhelming. The phone calls, the meetings, the paperwork, like, whew, that's a lot. It's a lot. And it, it, it just put me in a, not a bad place, but I guess in a place where I just really didn't want to be, you know, I just didn't want to be. And I had to realize that, you know, not everything is going to go my way and not everybody is going to abide by my rules and do what I say, you know, even if it is good for them or it's, that's not going to work out. So I have been dealing with that along with still trying to process the loss of my son. You know, I just feel like Tati is a very selfish person. How dare you disrespect me on any type of media, social, letter, email, phone call. It doesn't matter. How dare you? Because I have been taking care of your son, helping you since day one. Like, I do more than you do. Like, I'm a grandmother and your baby father. Like, I can't be both. So, you know, I have been dealing with that. And um, I'm, I have good moments, too. My life, my daughter, Nay, she graduated from high school on the 29th of June. And I am so proud of her. Like, even though it's COVID and she had to graduate in a drive through graduation, I made sure my truck was decorated out. And she was sitting on the top of the truck. You know what I'm saying? And all of that. I, I made sure that everything was all good for her. And I'm just proud of her. She got her first car. A little girl. This little girl, because she's little to me still. And she's short, too. She's like 5'1". She, um, she got a full-time job. You know, like, I'm just so proud of her. And then there's Mumsy, who is 13 now. And I'm 5'5", five, five, and a half. Mumsy's like 5'6". OK, I have to look up to my 13 year old daughter like, well, what did you say? You know what I'm saying? Like she probably never do a Dollar Tree video again with me. Like I, that's not her caliber anymore. I don't know. You know, I'm going to have to get Tinky to do them with me. Um, You know, them two girls, they made me so happy. And my son, Jerron, he made me so happy. You know, y'all know him as Shampo, but I just I'm, I'm just happy for them. And then, you know, my husband. We're not married, but, you know, we are divorced. But you guys know the story. You know, we, we've been together for 22 years, okay? <sighs> Separated for like four, but still together. And then divorced too during that separation. And then back together. Like, it's a crazy, like, we just love each other so much. Like, that was, it was that was my idea to get divorced. Because, you know, I left him and came here. And he got his shit together. And, you know... You know how you have like the love of your life? He's the love of my life, man. I love that man to death. I, I couldn't see myself without him or with any other man. Like he's perfect to, to me. In my eyes, he's perfect for real. I mean, yeah, he has his flaws, but he's perfect to me. And I know I have my flaws, but I'm pretty sure I best to be perfect for him. But you know, he's held me down through all of this. And I, you know, with without him and my my daughters and my son Jerron, I don't really know where I would be. I I really don't. Um, I'm back to exercising because I gained like twelve fucking pounds. I don't. I, I can't blame it on the, the lockdown COVID because I'm gonna tell y'all all I can't blame it on COVID lockdown. I don't never go outside too much anyway. I don't have too many friends. I only got like one friend, one, two friends. I don't really go to too many places. I'm a homebody person. I'm an introvert. I don't like to hang out with people. The friends that I do have, I will contact you when I feel like it. That's the type of person I am, unfortunately. So I can't say that it was due to COVID lockdown, but um, I have gained weight back. But I ain't trying to gain that much weight. I, I'm just like, I, I got to get my neck back. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, my neck had disappeared so somewhat. So I've been walking back to my walking and exercising again. Um, I stopped for a few months because it, it was like 118 degrees outside. Like, what y'all want me to do? Die on my walk? Like, I probably would pass out and be laying on in, in the walk path. People would be like, why is she laying there? She, Where's the kids would be like, where's mommy? You know, like, yeah. But my home is like really quiet now. Mumsy's in school upstairs in her room. Tinky got his own room now, which is Wuzzle's room. 
I miss my son Shumpo living here with his wife and his two kids because this is too quiet, you know, way too quiet. Um, yeah, but I have been making some things and I want to show you guys what I've been making and I do have videos of them. Um, and if I forgot to mention it, I did do wig videos yesterday. I did five of them. Could you imagine? I did five wig videos and got my dog over here snoring and shit. So I'm going to just show you guys some of the things that I done made. So that was, this is one of the items that I done made. I got a video of this. Okay. I'm not going to show you. this. I made, this is an American girl doll bed, but it's also a bed for somebody right there. Pancakers. Yup, yup, it's for you. Well, because it was originally for, um, I was going to do a video for American Girl doll bed. And, and then when I was telling my husband about it, he was like, oh, you're going to make a dog bed. And I was like, not a dog bed, babe, an American Girl doll. And then when he said that, I was like, oh, word, pancake is small. She could fit in there. So she does fit in it. And I made this and this, these things, like, I gotta show you guys the video, I read, I'm, I'm in the process of doing this right now, okay, this was a desk that I purchased, like, seven and a half years ago from Saver's Thrift Store, and it was brown, and then I painted it pink, and then now I'm painting it white, and I'm gonna add something, but I don't, I don't really think this is a desk desk, for some reason, it's, I'm thinking that this was attached to, like, a kitchen counter, or something like in the 70s because of the way it's made like this can't possibly be a desk I'm thinking that this was part of a kitchen you know that old countertop that brown stuff so that I just put this up because I'm changing it I, I, I originally made that too but it was just up against the wall so now I made this to go behind it I made these right here which are from Halloween things uh, they have can LED light candles in them, but you can't really see them during the daytime. So I have a video for that. And, you know, I hope you guys watch it. And then I made this um, recently, all Dollar Tree stuff. Uh, I have a video for that. It's a wall hanging that I will show you guys. And also, I just finished uh, making these, um, which I also have a DIY video for as well. They look nice in person. I mean, they look nice right here, too, but I'm just saying they look really, really good in person. What else did I make? I don't even know, but, um, oh, I'll show you my, my laundry room is my craft corner, I call it. I have, yeah, I took over the laundry room, and <laughs> this is my crafting corner. All of this shit right here. Look, I will make space for myself. All, trust me, got baskets hanging on the wall. Just some screwdrivers and some good wire and hang these good old baskets up. But, yep, I have a little crafting corner where I do all my stuff. Uh, unfortunately, it's a little messy right now because I've been doing it in the living room. But I'm, I'm organized. I have a bunch of stuff where I'm organized at, you know, and stuff like that. So I'll definitely be sharing with you guys um what i've been doing but yeah those little lantern light things that you just seen was made with this these are from the 99 cents only store they are um halloween bird cages um actually and they were 99 cents i bought six of them and i spray painted them as you guys see right here it goes one that spray painted so they're a nice size you see and um yeah i spray painted them and um blinged them out or whatever made this here this is a hanging lantern it's got lights in it i cannot tell you how i made it i have to show you guys but i do have a new channel um i haven't you know i already made the channel but um i have a new channel here goes tinky's room i made this for him in his room it is a 3d poster i'll have to show you guys the video for that but um because i have one too but um yeah um i have a new channel it's, I, I named it Craft Chronics. And I know you guys are probably like, bitch, that mean we, but no, Chronicles, Chronicles. Like, but, but I just shortened it to Craft Chronics. But I'm not really sure if I like that name. I'm thinking maybe I should call it Crafters Chronics or like Craft Crafters Corner or Craft Chronicles. What do you guys think? Because it is just Craft Chronics. 
So I was like, maybe I should just call it Crafter's Corner or Craft Corner or Craft Corner. Cr I don't know. Like, you know what I'm saying? So tell me, do you like Craft, Craft Corner, Crafter, the Craft, the Crafting Corner or Crafter's Chronicle or Craft Chronicles or Crafter's Chronics? Which one? Because it's, you know, I don't, I, I think I'm going to change it. Yeah. I was using this air fryer that I got from Amazon when one of the sellers sent me. And let me tell y'all about this air fryer, okay? Let, let me let me just tell you, because first of all, this air fryer, okay, this is a bomb ass air fryer. I don't that is not the name, but it's called bomb ass air fryer on my part. Very inexpensive and very very nice. It has several different temperatures on it. It goes up to 450, but it also has different functions uh, like broil, broil, um, toast, bake, and air fry and dehydrate. I don't really know what the dehydrate is for. I haven't used it yet, but I love the air fry. And it also has a timer and a light. So right now in here is some chicken um, that I'm making for my dog, actually, fresh chicken. And I was using the air fryer for it. And you hear it has a little ding when it's done. And it has like the air fryer cage. We'll keep the grease from sitting in the tray. The air fryer. I didn't know what an air fryer was until my daughter-in-law had to explain it to me. But um, yeah, so I've been using it for a couple of weeks. And it's a really nice toaster oven slash air fryer. But um, I honestly, I did not know... I was not aware of what an air fryer was. Like I, I really thought that like an air fryer was something like a deep fryer until she told me like, no, you can just cook chicken without even frying it. And I'm in it. That's what it's doing right now. Like, listen, y'all, I'm surprised. So it's by a brand called AO Bolsi. I'm not really sure if that's how you say it, but it comes with a, a manual book, food recipes, and also comes with the instructional air fryer oven instructional manual. But honestly, you really don't need to use this. Like, I mean, you can if you want to, but I have cooked many different things in this. I've cooked fish in this. I've cooked um, the chicken. Um, normally I don't cook raw foods in it, but I wanted to try it out and it really is good for, I cooked salmon in it, but you know, the only downfall is I like to cook my salmon for like two hours because I do like it on a low heat. So you, you would need to come back because the time frame, the longest would be 60 minutes. Um, but it does go up to 450 as a regular conventional oven, you know, and things of that nature, but it's a really good air fryer. Now, honestly, I did have a, um, a toaster oven prior to this one and I got rid of it because I got this one and the toaster oven that I had prior to this one was a little bit bigger I mean it took up this much space and it came all the way to like right about here so it came to where the toaster the, the actual toaster was so it was longer and I was able to put bigger dishes in it but just keep in mind I never really cooked raw food in it never I just used it to bake pizzas you know things like that but it was a nice size and girl I got that that I got that toaster oven I got from the thrift store and it worked and it still was working when I got this one. But, I, you know, got, sometimes you got to get rid of stuff. But it did come with some other items like this. I'm not really sure. I can't remember what this was for. My husband said it's to pull out the to pull out the trays. That's what he told me. But you can pull them out like that. OK, it's also it comes with this. He said this was to pull out the trays, too. But I. It must be to pull out this one. I don't, you know, listen, I don't really know, but I will say this. This is a really good ass deep fryer, oven fryer, air fryer, toaster oven. This is a really good one. So I do like this one a lot. And I'll, I'll link it down below for you guys. It's a good air fryer. Um, I like stuff that I can, you know, hook up with my kitchen with. But, um, yeah, that's about it, you guys. Um. I just wanted to tell you where I was and I'm going to be back. You know, I, I got my videos ready. I just got to edit them. You know, you can't just, if, if you've been missing like MIA for a minute, you have to come back with, you know, you have explaining to do like, bitch, where you been, you know? And I've just been trying to just chill and take it easy. But I just made, had to make sure that I explained that to you guys first before I come back. Or post anything because I don't want him to buy like, oh, you've been gone for a month and you want me to watch your wig video. Listen, I love you all. 
And I'll see y'all in a soon to come video. Now I gotta go edit this one. All right, I'm probably gonna edit it. I love you though. Bye. Uh,